Welcome ladies and gentlemen and congratulations to making it to the summary portion of solving literal equations. What I'd like to do is kind of summarize um, the process for solving a literal equation as well as go over some tips and tricks and some common mistakes that I see by myself as well as working with students within my classroom. So basically when we're solving literal equations it's just like solving any type of um, linear equation where basically what we're doing is we're taking our variable and we want to isolate it by using our inverse operations as well as um, using the reverse order of operations. So um, first thing is always do is simplify. See if we can combine like terms, uh, apply distributed property, or factor out a variable so you can get at least one variable. Because again, to isolate it, we have to have you know one variable to solve for. So we either need to make sure they're on the same side, combine terms, or sometimes even factor them out so that you have that one term by itself. Then once you have that one term by itself, it's basically just using your inverse operations um, and the reverse order of operations, meaning we're always going to undo addition and subtraction first and then undo uh, multiplication and division. So some kind of tips and tricks that I found is one to circle the variable. A lot of times once you get the variable positive and by itself, um, what I like to do, you know, if I had 3x minus 2y or let's do plus 2y equals 10. And when you want to solve for this, um, circle the y, right? Circle it. And then what I call that is like pinning the variable. That means by circling, you are not going to move that variable anymore. You're going to keep it right there. And now all you're simply going to do is undo everything that's happened to the variable, which is being added by 3x and being multiplied by 2y. The next thing is use numbers or simple variables. I was working with a problem that looked like this, a equals 2 pi r squared plus you know, 2 pi rh. And I can see that a lot of students get really confused. If we're trying to solve for h, right, this might be kind of too much. So maybe if you just think of and say, all right, well, why don't I just have this be x plus yh? And then you could say, oh, OK, well, I'm adding x, so I need to subtract the x, and I'm multiplying by y. And then just replace the x with 2 pi r squared and replace the y with 2 pi r. All right, so using simple equations um, will a lot of times work. The common mistakes is a lot of times fractions. Um, again, ladies and gentlemen, just to get rid of a fraction, if you have a fraction like this, multiply by whatever your denominator is to eliminate the fraction. All right, multiply everything by 2 so you can eliminate the fraction. And the last thing is inverse operations. Again, when students are looking at this, is they just kind of forget what is happening to the variable. Note that you know even in this case, I am adding the 3x. I need to subtract this 3x. Because if I rewrote this as 2y plus 3x equals 10, now it might be easier to say, oh, I'm adding the 3x. So remember, since that 3x is positive, you've got to subtract. So I still see students making mistakes with inverse operations. Same thing, 3 um, or, let's see, y over 3 equals 10 or equals you know, c, whatever, or d, whatever. If you wanted to solve for y here, notice that y is being divided by d. So I need to undo divided by d. So I need to multiply by d on both sides, right? So um, that is just kind of a common mistake as far as not getting rid of the fractions and kind of forgetting about your inverse operations. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your basic summary um, for solving literal equations. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, congratulations on completing the course. Thanks. Okay.